bond is a low temperature abrasive or welding rod for non ferrous metals. It will weld aluminium, die cast, copper, brass, bronze. It will not be used to steel or iron. To use it, you do three things. Clean the metal with a stainless steel brush or a brass brush. Do not use steel wire brushes. It will not confuse the steel. Don't clean with it. If you file or angle grind a piece, clean it with the brush prior to heating. The second step is to raise the temperature of the metal with a plane. The propane barbecue gas is hot enough. That's a medium tip for a large piece of metal, a bigger tip like this, or you can use oxyacetylene. Map gas is also useful. The plane heats the metal. It does not touch the rod. Do not heat the rod. Alloy melts at 650 degrees approximately. The rod melts at 380 degrees. So you heat the metal and use the rod as a thermometer. When the metal melts the rod, that's when the fusion occurs. If you have a crack to fill or you want to weld pieces together, you're building a boot rack, a rod holder, or a bowl bar. Put some on both sides of the crack, color in the center. I'll illustrate the strength of the material to you. It is an alloy of metals. It is not a plastic or glue. You can file it, fill a hole, re-drill and tap it, chrome over it if you're restoring old vehicles, paint it for boats, cars, caravans. Now I'll show you how to fill a hole. Stainless steel or brass brush to clean it. Barbecue gas or oxy is settled in the heat. A map gas. Use the rod as a thermometer. When the metal melts the rod, that's the fuse. Here I need more heat. Around the hole, or again. This material is an alloy of metals. As I said, there are nine metals in it. It is a permanent braze well. I'll just test the strength here in a moment when that cools. Remember, it'll do aluminium, die cast, copper, brass, bronze. If you have a large hole to fill like this, which is too big to bridge, clamp steel behind the hole, fill it in, and when it cools, the steel will drop away. Remember, it will not run steel. Therefore, you may also use it to rebuild pieces, such as this die cast lawnmower body, boat propellers, engine parts, motorcycle parts, outboard motor parts, and that's what it looks like when it's filed and drilled. If you painted that, you'd never know it's there. The tensile strength of this material is 34,000 pounds per square inch, nearly mild steel. The point though is not how hard it is, it's the quality of the weld. Now you can see that metal is bent and distorted, and that weld is still there. Prices for this material are available on our website if you look. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you.